Welcome back to my channel Math School. In today's video, let us solve example 7 from chapter 12, some applications of trigonometry. In my previous videos, I've completed the introduction and examples 1 to 6 from the same chapter. If you have not watched these videos, do find the link in the description box below or click the i button above. And also watch the video till the end so that I can make more such videos for you guys. Now quickly, let us begin with the video. Example 7 from chapter 12, some applications of trigonometry says, from a point on a bridge across a river, the angle of depression of the banks on opposite sides of the river are 30 degree and 45 degree respectively. If the bridge is at a height of 3 meter from the banks, find the width of the river. Okay, so here angle of depression is coming into picture. Now if you look at the figure that is given in the textbook, you can observe that this is a bridge and you are standing at a point B. So there is a river which is flowing under the bridge. Right, so you will be looking from this point P at both the ends of the bridge. Right, so when you look at one end of the bridge, this is the line of sight that is AP and there is also a horizontal drawn from the point P. So the angle formed between the horizontal and the line of sight is 30 degree. Similarly, on the other hand side, there is a horizontal and a line of sight drawn which makes a 45 degree angle. Okay, and also this height of this bridge is 3 meter which is given. So now we have to find out the width of the river that is AB. Now let us redraw the figure. So this is the bridge and there is a point P from where you are looking on both the ends of the river. At one end is on left hand side. Let us mark it as point A which makes an angle 30 degree with the horizontal. Similarly, on the other hand side, let us take point B. You are looking at the end of the river that is point B which makes an angle of 45 degree with the horizontal and, and they have given us the height of the bridge that is 3 meter. So, we have to find out the width of this river that is AB. Let us take this point as D that is the height of the bridge from the river. Now this PD is the vertical height of the bridge, right? So therefore, since this PD is vertical with respect to the ground level, therefore PDA forms a 90 degree angle on left hand side and similarly on the right hand side, PDB is also a 90 degree angle. Therefore, you can see that PDA and PDB, the two triangles are the right angle triangles here. Now, since they form a right angle triangle, therefore, we can apply the trigonometric ratios to find this distance of the river that is AB. So, now let us write down what is given in the question. So, they have given us, given the height of the bridge is 3 meters equal to DP and the angles, if we mark this as Q and R, the angles QPA is equal to 30 degree and angle RPB is equal to 45 degree, right? This is what is given in the question. Now we have to find the width of the river. So let us write down let width of river be AB. So always remember one of the important points when angle of depression comes into picture is that we have to bring these angles below so that we can find out the width of the river. The same method we applied in a previous example that is example 6. So whenever there is two parallel lines and a transversal is passing through this parallel line, you can observe that there is a Z formation occurring. So therefore here in such cases the alternate angles will be equal. Okay, so this property we are going to apply here. Here again you can observe that a Z formation is occurring here that is QPAD. Therefore, this 30 degree angle is equal to angle PAD that is that is also equal to 30 degree by alternate angle. Similarly, there is another Z formation happening here, right? That is RPPD. So, this 45 degree angle is equal to angle PBD which will also be equal to 45 degree, right? So, using this alternate angle property, we are going to bring the angles down to find out the respective distances or heights. So therefore, you can write angle Q 
PA is equal to angle PAD and angle RPB is equal to angle PBD okay because alternate angles are equal now also you can observe that this PD is perpendicular to AB therefore this angle PDA and angle PBB are 90 degree angles since PD is perpendicular to AB so therefore angle PAD is equal to angle PDB is equal to 90 degree angle therefore we have the two triangles PDA and triangle PDB are right angle triangles here since these two triangles are right angle triangles and here acute angle is angle A and angle B so we will find out which is the perpendicular base and the hypotenuse the side opposite the acute angle is the perpendicular side along will be base and the other side that is AP is the hypotenuse similarly in this triangle since angle B is the acute angle the side opposite the acute angle is perpendicular along is base and PB will be our hypotenuse. Now here we have to find out the width of the river or AB right so in each of the triangles we have to find AD and DB value so we have to find out base as they have given us the perpendicular value and the acute angle so here we will apply the trigonometric ratio which has perpendicular and base to apply the trigonometric ratio you should know this fraction that is P B P divided by H H B. Now since we want perpendicular by base trigonometric ratio so here perpendicular by base is given by tan theta. So we will apply tan theta in both the triangles and find out the value of AD and DB. So let us write down in triangle PDA applying tan trigonometric ratio that is tan theta is equal to perpendicular by base where perpendicular is PD divided by base is AD. Here again our theta value is equal to 30 degree. So tan 30 is equal to PD is 3 meters divided by AD we have to find out. Now in our trigonometric table what is tan 30 value? So 1 by root 3 is equal to 3 divided by AD or cross multiplying we get AD as equal to 3 root 3. Okay, so we found out the value of AD now. Now similarly let us find out the value of DB by applying the trigonometric ratio in this triangle PDB. So in triangle PDB we have applying tan theta again tan theta is equal to perpendicular by base where perpendicular is PD and base is again DB. Right, so here our theta value is equal to 45 degree. So tan 45 is equal to PD is 3 meter divided by DB we have to find out. So tan 45 according to the table it is equal to 1. So tan 45 is 1 equal to 3 divided by DB. Cross multiplying we get DB as equal to 3. Right, so we got db value as well the width of the river is ab so here from the figure you can notice that ab is equal to ad plus db here we found out the value of ad and db which we are going to substitute in this equation to find out the ad value right so ad will be equal to 3 root 3 plus db is 3 now let us take common here when you take common 3 outside you will be left with root 3 plus 1 meter this is the AD value therefore the width of the river is 3 into root 3 plus 1 meter so this is how we solve this example 7 okay so these are the seven example problems which are very important which you have to practice and understand them in my next video, I'll be solving question number 2 from exercise 12.1, chapter 12, some applications of trigonometry. So till then, do like my video, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos as I'll be completing the whole syllabus for class 5th SLC and cert math. And also do watch the related videos of chapter 12, some applications of trigonometry shown on the screen. Thank you.